In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 50 and 51, which we're going to be inserting text from Microsoft Word. After completing this video, you should be able to create slides using Outline View and move and delete slides. It is easy to insert documents saved in Microsoft Word format, which is a file that ends in .docx, or the rich text format, which is a file that ends with the file extension of .rtf, and also the plain text format, which is a .txt file, as well as an HTML format, which is a .htm file, into a PowerPoint presentation. If you have an outline saved in a document file, you can import it into PowerPoint to create a new presentation or to create additional slides into an existing presentation. When you import a document into a presentation, PowerPoint creates an outline structure based on the styles in the document. For example, a Heading 1 style in the Word document becomes a slide title, and a Heading 2 style becomes the first level of text in a bulleted list. If you insert a plain text format document into a presentation, PowerPoint creates an outline based on the tabs at the beginning of the document's paragraphs. Paragraphs without tabs become slide titles, and paragraphs with one tab indent becomes first level text in bulleted list. Now since this is the first video uh, in PowerPoint 2013 Unit C, you're going to, going to need to go to Course Sites and download the four start files uh, that are found for the walkthrough uh, underneath the content area for PowerPoint um, C walkthrough. And then once you download all four of those files and put them uh, in the area where you download your files at, you need to open up the PPTC1 file uh, on there and that is where you have saved your files. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on Enable Editing, and that is going to allow us to uh, edit this uh, PowerPoint presentation. And then we want to go through and we want to save this presenta presentation. So we're going to click on the File tab, go to Save As, and then we're going to save this. I'm going to save this to my computer, and I'm going to save it onto my desktop, but I'm going to save this as PPT, space C dash QST and then I'm going to click on my save button. Next, once I have this file saved with the new file name, I'm then going to click on the view tab, which is on the ribbon, and then I'm going to click on the outline view. Now in PowerPoint Unit B, we learned about using the outline view to input in uh, some new slides. Next, on step two, we are going to click on the slide four icon. Now, of course, when we click on the icon here, which is the little white boxes that is here, that is going to select uh, the slide four. Then next, we're going to click on the home tab. And then we're going to click the new slide button list arrow. So here we have our new slide button, and down here is the list arrow. When I click on that, which we've clicked on this before, we've clicked on one of these different um, layouts that have been up here previously. However, in this case, we're going to go down toward the bottom and we're going to click on Slides from Outline. And of course, when we do this, and first of all, when we click on the Slide 4 icon, the Slide 4 appears in the Slide pane. And then when we clicked on the uh, slides from outline we now have the insert outline dialog box that is open now before you insert an outline into a presentation you need to determine where you want this new slides to be placed now in this case uh, case on there we want the text from the word document to be inserted as new slides after slide four and that is why we selected slide four on there and we clicked on that so next, in step three, it tells us that we want to navigate to the location where you store your data files. So that could be either in your downloads or into your documents. For myself, I've placed it onto my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop, and, but this is where you would go to where you saved your files. And I'm going to find the file 
that is named pptc-2.docx and this is a word document uh, that we're going to be taking a look at and it should look like that look like this it's the pptc-2 and it should say microsoft word document and that is the one that i'm going to be looking for and of course you'll notice that in here there's where it tells us the uh, outlines and it tells us the file extensions that uh, we could utilize as these outlines next i'm going to click on insert and when i click on insert we will now notice uh, that six new slides which is slides five six seven eight nine and ten have been added to the presentation and the new slide five has appeared in the slide pane uh, that's on there where it has the arctic prairie next in step four it tells us that we want to click the scroll down arrow in the outline pane which is over here on the left hand side remember this is our outline pane we click on the down pointing arrow here and then that will allow us to read um, the text for all the new slides so we can take a look and see here's the new uh, slides that we have so there's the first new slide the second new slide third new slide fourth new slide fifth new slide and then finally the six new slide uh, that's on here as well so those are the six new slides that we have now if you are interested I'm going to minimize here for just a second the PowerPoint uh, presentation and I'm going to open up this PPTC2 file so you can take a look at the Word document uh, that we have so if I would open up this Word document here you can take a look and see how that Word document is created uh, in its outline form and then uh, when you take a look at that outline form you can actually go through and create that uh, outline uh, that way so that um, if you would use that in uh, or create that outline in word you can use that as inserting in uh, that information into powerpoint to, to add slides so this is what it would look like in word uh, on here and of course there's there are different slide information as you see there then I'm going to go ahead and close the Word document and you'll notice that if I bring up PowerPoint again that is how it looks uh, on here when we actually go through and insert it in as slides next we're going to go through and then click on the normal button on the status bar so we're going to go down here and we're going to click on this normal button so that we can work uh, with our presentation now now the information on slides 5 and 6 uh, refer to an obsolete train routes uh, in this case so we're going to actually go ahead uh, and not use this for this presentation so we're going to make some changes here so now what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold our shift key down and we're going to click on the slide 6 thumbnail as well so we're, we are selecting uh, slides 5 and 6 is what we're doing and then next we want to go up to our clipboard group here on the home tab and we're going to click on the cut button now we will notice that slides five and six have been removed um, the textbook says deleted and the next slide down which is the explorers trail west becomes the new slide five and appears in the slide pane now of course when we cut those they have not technically been deleted if we actually cut them uh, they have been moved to the clipboard uh, so if we did need those back, we could retrieve those back uh, just simply by pasting. Now we could have permanently deleted those or uh, on there just by hitting our delete key as well. Uh, next on there, let's take a look now at uh, step six. And step six tells us that we're going to click the uh, slide six thumbnail, which has our cultural centers here. And then it tells us that we want to drag it above slide five. So we're going to click and hold and then drag this right above slide 5 and you'll notice that the slides have now switched places uh, on there and all of the new slides in the presentation now follow the same theme now you want the text of the inserted outline to adopt the theme fonts of the presentation and to do this we're going to move on now to step 7 and on step 7 it tells us that we want to press our shift key again and we're going to click on the slide 8 thumbnail now, of course, when we do that, we've selected slides 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then, of course, we will rele release our shift key. 
and then next we're going to click the reset button in the slides group so we're going to go um, up here to our slides group and then here is our reset button and you notice it tells us here that it's going to reset the position size and formatting of the slide placeholders to their default settings so when we click on that we notice that the font now changes back uh, on there as well it's the font type and formatting attributes of the slide changes to reflect the current theme fonts for the presentation now the reset button resets the slide placeholders to the default position size and text formatting based on the organic presentation design theme so make sure that you go ahead now and compare your screen to what is on figure C-2 which is on page PowerPoint 51 of course a quick tip as well you can also use the slide sorter view to move slides around in your presentation as well so you don't have to do it here on the thumbnail uh, pane you can also do that uh, on the slide sorter as well now on the bottom of page 51 it mentions a little bit about sending a presentation using your email now you can send a copy of a presentation over the internet to a reviewer to edit and add comments now you can use Microsoft Outlook to send your presentation Although your email program allows you to attach files, you can send a presentation using Outlook from within PowerPoint. And to do that, you could just click the File tab and then click Share. So if I would do that, I can click on the File tab, go down here to Share, and then once I click on that, I can then click on the Email button here uh, on there, and that's in the center pane and then I can click send as attachment so if I click on email I can send this as an attachment I can send it as a PDF or an XPS or I can actually send it as a fax if I would want to as well then once I would do that Outlook would actually auto, uh, open up automatically and would create an email with a copy of this presentation attached to it um, on there now all these file formats that we take a look on here preserve the document formatting, enable file sharing, and can be viewed online and printed. So if you were going to share that, uh, you wouldn't actually have to leave uh, PowerPoint to actually go ahead and prepare up an email for that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click back now because we're not going to send this as an email message. So go ahead now and just click on your save button because we do want to save this. And you're now ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to insert and style a picture.